Hello friends. Welcome to third session of chemistry. As you all know, we have started with the seventh lesson of your syllabus that is elements of group 16, 17 and 18. In the last two sessions, we have learned about occurrence, electronic configuration of elements of group 16, 17 and 18. And we also have started with periodic trends of physical properties of elements of group 16, 17 and 18. Of these physical properties, we learned about the first property and its periodic trains. And that property is atomic and ionic radii. Now, atomic and ionic radii can be defined as the distance between the center of the nucleus and last shell. Now the periodic train. As we move down the group from top to bottom, there is increase in the atomic and ionic radii as there is addition of a new shell every time. Across a period, if we move from left to right, Atomic and ionic radii decreases with increase in its atomic number and there is increase in effective nuclear charge. We have studied in detail about this. Now, from this, what we can conclude? The group 1711, that is halogens, have the smallest atomic radii in their respective periods. Up to this, we have covered. Now, we'll start with the second property of these elements and its periodic trends. The second property is ionization enthalpy. Enthalpy means energy. Now, definition. What do you mean by ionization enthalpy? Ionization enthalpy is the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost valence shell. Now, this is the energy provided to remove an electron. As the energy is provided or given, it always has a positive value. Remember this. Now, the periodic trend of this property. As we move down the group from top to bottom, ionization enthalpy decreases. Why? The reason is, as we move down the group, there is increase in atomic size. Atomic size is very important property. And we can relate it to remaining all properties as a reason. So you have to remember the trend of atomic size. That is down the group it increases, across a period it decreases. Now ionization enthalpy decreases down the group, we said it. Now, what happens? Now, do you remember structure of an atom? There is centrally placed positively charged nucleus in which there are protons and neutrons and electrons are revolving around it in different orbits. Now, when we move down, the atomic radius increases. Now, what happens is that means the last electron is located away from the nucleus. As the distance increases, the energy to re remove that electron becomes lesser and lesser. How? Because the centrally placed nucleus holds these electrons with its positive charge. But as the distance increases, the holding capacity of nucleus becomes weak and it becomes easier to remove an electron from the outermost shell. That means ionization enthalpy requires lesser and lesser as we move from top to bottom because atomic size increases. Understood? So this is the periodic trend. Now, what happens to ionization enthalpy when we move from left to right across a period. Now the same reason, as we move from left to right, atomic size decreases. And atomic size matters very well 
in explaining this property. As we move from left to right, atomic size decreases and nuclear charge increases. Hence, the capacity of nucleus to hold the electrons goes on increasing because size decreasing. Hence, it becomes more and more difficult to remove an electron from the outermost shell and thus it requires more and more energy to remove the electron from the last shell. Hence, as we move from left to right, across a period, ionization enthalpy value increase. Understood this? Now, there is one anomaly. As I have said, Across the period, ionization enthalpy increases. That means, group 16 element should have more energies than that of group 15. But in practice, if we observe, then we will find that group 16 elements have lower ionization enthalpy values than those of group 15. Why? This question might be asked in board. Then the explanation is like this. Elect general electronic configuration of group 16 elements is ns2 np4 that means in the last shell there are six electrons four in the p orbital two in the s orbit general electronic configuration of 15th group will be then ns2 np3 one electron less now p orbital has a capacity accommodate three, six electrons. It has three different orientations, having capacity to accommodate two electrons each. When there are exactly three electrons, that means exactly half number than the required number, then these three electrons get accommodated in three different orbitals. And hence, the p orbital gets exactly half filled. And this has extra stability. When the any when an orbital gets exactly half filled, there is an extra stability. And because of the extra stability, it requires a more amount to remove that electron. Thus, if we can compare group 15 and group 16 element in the corresponding period, then the 16th group elements have lower ionization enthalpy values than that of 15. If the question is asked, then just give one sentence. Because of the extra stable half field electronic configuration of p orbitals in elements of group 15, they have higher values of ionization enthalpies as compared to group 16. So this would be your answer. Understood? So this is all about second property that is ionization enthalpy. Now we'll move to next property that is electronegativity. Electronegativity is defined as the capacity of any atom of an element to attract shared pair of electrons towards itself. Now you know very well when a covalent bond is formed, the electron pair is shared between two atoms. Suppose this electron pair is attracted by one of the atom, then it is said that it has extra electronegativity. Now, what will be the periodic trend? As we move down the group from top to bottom, the electronegativity value decrease. Why? Again the same reason. That is atomic size. As atomic size increases, the electronegativity values or power to attract the shared electron pair towards itself naturally will go on decreasing. Smaller the size, more is the tendency. And so, Across a period, as size goes on decreasing, electronegativity value go on increasing. So, understood the trend across a period, the electro the electronegativity value go on increasing. Now, if we 
compare all the elements and their electronegativity values, it is observed that fluorine has the smallest atomic size, highest ionization enthalpy. In the same way, it has highest electronegativity values. Next to fluorine is oxygen. Yes, highest is fluorine and oxygen has the lesser electronegativity as compared to fluorine or it is on the second number. And of all the groups, halogen family have highest electronegativity values because they have the smallest atomic size. Understood? This is your electronegativity value and its periodic trend. Now, next property is electron gain enthalpy. What is electron gain enthalpy? So, when an extra electron is added in the last shell, certain amount of energy is released and that is called as electron gain enthalpy. Enthalpy is again energy. It is the energy released when an extra electron is added in the last shell. Now, as the energy is released, I have told you ionization enthalpy is the energy we provide. So, it has positive values. Here, the energy is released. Hence, it has negative value. Now, the trend. Now, as we move from top to bottom, from uh, down the group, then the electron gain enthalpy values, actually those increase. But we have to say it, in a other way that is in the negative value sense then we can say that oxygen has less negative electron gain enthalpy than sulfur but sulfur has less electron gain enthalpy than selenium like that that means oxygen can easily accommodate an electron by releasing energy so less energy is released the sulfur can accommodate an electron but somewhat more energy is released so, less negative energy is released in case of oxygen than that of sulfur. Same happens in group 17. Fluorine has less negative electron gain enthalpy than that of chlorine because of the small size of fluorine atom. Again, atomic size matters. Okay. Now, group 18 elements, noble gases. They have no tendency to accept electron because of their stable electronic configuration. Thus, they have large positive electron gain enthalpy. This is exception. Positive electron gain enthalpy because they don't have any tendency to accept an electron. So, this is all about electron gain enthalpy. So, what we have studied today, just we will revise that. Because here ends the periodic trends of physical properties. Next point we will discuss in the next lecture. But just we will revise all the properties and their trends. Because in front of you now is B block. I have taken total B block. We are going to compare between 16, 17, 18. But across a period we can compare. So I have taken P block or uh, image of P block. Now first property is atomic size. Down the group it increases across a period it decreases. Second property is ionization enthalpy. Down the group it decreases and across a period it increases. Third property electronegativity. Down the group it decreases along a period it increases and last one is electron gain enthalpy. The elements at the top in corresponding period, they have less electron gain enthalpy values than the elements which are located down to them. And noble gases, they don't have any effect of electron gain enthalpy and other properties as well. So, up to this, just revise it. Now, what will be the assignment? Now, just open your textbooks. And write down all the four properties we studied today. Their definition, their trends and the reasons. That means what is mean by, for example, suppose atomic size. So first point will be its definition. 
then down the group what happens to it why then across a period what happens to it and why like this you have to write the definition and periodic trends with explanation of 16th 17th and 18th group and the properties you are going to write are atomic and ionic radii second is ionization enthalpy third one is electronegativity and fourth one is electron gain enthalpy thank you